you guys welcome back to my channel i am so excited for today's video it is going to be my third update in my whole collection project pan for 2023 this project was started by bikey loves kenga i was heavily inspired to do this project many years ago when i saw my friend emily from emily and max do this project and i think i've been doing this for like at least four years at this point in time if you are unfamiliar with the whole collection project pan essentially my entire wake up collection is itemized on an excel spreadsheet and i randomly generate this year i've decided to work on well i started with five products at a time and if i don't reach a goal or roll something out in an update then as a consequence for not hitting a goal on anything i roll something else in no matter what so we currently have six products that i am working on i do have two rollouts today which i'm super excited for my playlist will be linked down below as well as all the other information pertaining to this project so if you're interested in my progress and updates stay tuned first if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project planning content or just chit chatting about makeup i would love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on and other than that let's jump into the video All right, you guys, before we get into the update and my progress, I'm so excited to say that this video is actually in collaboration with Ana Luisa. You guys know I've worked with Ana Luisa in the past, and I absolutely love their brand. I have so many pieces at this point in time, and I'm so excited to be partnering with them for their spring sale. So I am super excited to share my newest pieces with you. They're all on me, of course. Um, and I don't know what I'm most obsessed with. To be honest, I don't know if I can choose a favorite out of my three newest pieces. So up first, I have the Paris earrings, which are on my ears today. And y'all, I love a hoop earring, but sometimes you can't wear the like super large hoops to work. I do feel like hoop earrings are kind of like that makeup piece where like even if you are like the most like you just literally rolled out of out of bed you can toss hoop earrings in and it like it just like transform like it makes it look like you made effort to your look even though maybe you just literally rolled out of bed grabbed hoop earrings and dashed out the door so i absolutely love these these are like my newest go-to earrings for work and i feel like no matter what like even if i were to do like a low ponytail low bun like these just look so timeless and classy which is one of the things i love about Ana luisa i feel like their jewelry pieces like make a statement without being like a statement piece i'm thinking of like <laughs> i'm thinking of like 2013 2014 do you guys remember like the huge like i just remember wearing like these huge beaded necklaces and i'm like what in the heck was i thinking i love where my jewelry collection has come um so i have these earrings and then i also have i don't know how well you'll be able to see i have this is the chloe ring which i have been wanting this ring for so long it's kind of almost looks like this like braided rope and you guys i am so into rings lately uh i'm very excited to continue to expand my ring collection from Ana luisa because i feel like their rings can stack really nicely as well in fact i actually speaking of Ana luisa i love the way that their pieces you can mix and match and layer these are two older necklaces in my collection but both from Ana luisa both different necklaces from like not different collections, but two separate necklaces that I just love the way that they layer together. And this ring right here, hopefully you'll be able to see. This is the Cleo ring, which I absolutely love. It's this like serpent snake. It's giving me like all the Medusa vibes. But look at like I could layer these two together. I have a couple other Ana Luisa rings that I'm really excited to layer these with as well. And I just truly couldn't be more excited about my new pieces just a few other things to shout out that i love about the brand they are carbon neutral from their pieces to their packaging it comes in very small packaging and each piece also comes in its own little pouch i save all of these pouches and y'all these are so convenient for travel i was recently traveling in february and i like put each piece of jewelry that i brought in each separate like felt pouch and you don't get like the tangled necklace situation you're not losing all of your jewelry in your suitcase and i just absolutely love the way that they package their pieces they have really unique high quality pieces starting at 39 dollars. and as mentioned at the beginning they are running their spring sale right now i will leave a link in the description box for you down below it is not an affiliate link but it is a link that will save you 20 percent off of your purchase so definitely go check them out and if you purchase anything or if you have any current Ana luisa favorites let me know what they are in the comments below because 
you know I'm already getting my next order together. So I want to know what pieces you're loving or you think I should pick up next. So let's get into my progress on these six products that I was working on in my whole collection project pan. I'm just going to go in order that these products have been in this project and most of these have been in since the introduction. So let's start with this highlighter right here. This is the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Elevate Glow Highlight. I think this is absolutely beautiful. I love this. This is definitely a product, however, that I reach for more in the spring summertime. I did give myself a goal of reaching for this 15 total times. I was at three out of those 15 uses last update. I did reach for this an additional three times this past update, putting me at six out of my 15 uses. So I still have nine uses left to go. This weighed 108 grams when I rolled this in and it's still weighing 108 grams. I feel like I could make like the slightest movement in my line marking but i don't want to do that because then it's just going to end up looking like one thick line you guys will see i'm also or have also been working on my auric glow less in this project so these two because they're both kind of liquid highlights have kind of been competing for attention but we will <laughs> spoiler be rolling this one out so i'm hoping that potentially i could hit nine uses on this by the next update i do have some other <laughs> cream and liquid highlights that i am also trying to get through or get to so i would love to just bust through those nine uses and roll that out next update next up is one of the products we will be rolling out which i'm very excited about it is my huda glowish multi-do skin tint i also gave myself a 15 use goal on this one i was at four out of those 15 uses last update and i did reach for this an additional 11 times which i'm so proud of this is something that i don't believe i ever just use this on its own as a singular like foundation or skin tint but I was mixing this quite a bit. It's a little bit deep for me, especially because I just recently started self tanning again, but I would mix just like the smallest amount of this, sometimes with the Huda or with the Auric Glow Lust. Other times I would mix it with like my Oma Beauty foundation, which is way too light for me to get a good mixture going. But when I roll this in, and it's a little bit hard to say because this is an airless pump, I was right about here and now if I smushed all the product down I would say I'm approximately right here so I did use this the additional 11 uses putting me at 15 total uses in this project the first uh, month of this project this I was trying to use like half of this before I changed my goal to the 15 uses so I think I've reached for this a couple more times than 15 within this year but that's beside the point this weighed 56 grams when i rolled this in in january it weighed 55 grams last update and weighs 52 grams today so we did make some significant progress on this which i'm very excited about i anticipate i will pull this back out this summer but i'm excited to put this away and give this a little bit of a rest and then as mentioned i have the auric glow list as well this is another 15 use goal for me i was at four out of the 15 uses for this last update as well i reached for this in additional 11 times sometimes i was using this on its own sometimes i would mix this with a moisturizer to make this just like a little bit less glowy but i did go to the gym a few more times than normal this month and i loved to wear like a moisturizer mixed with this just to give me glowing skin for the gym um, which is how i got most of my use out of this i thought i had a marking on this but maybe i didn't it's really hard to say like where the product is has settled to just because the product doesn't necessarily because it is like a little thicker if you will like the product's a little bit thicker it doesn't necessarily like settle settle so i'm not exactly sure unless i were to take the cap off and unscrew the pump and even then i'm like could i really tell like it's gonna get so messy i'm gonna regret this mm. oh i'm gonna regret putting this back on oh maybe not I think I'm about like right here, which I mean, I still have a ton of this left. Uh, I have this product. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and I have the e.l.f. Halo Glow. So I have way too many products like this in my collection. But this is a product that because it costs so much money, it's super luxe packaging. And I just feel like it looks really beautiful kind of on display. I've been like reserving 
or holding off using this or not allowing myself to use this at all. So I'm really excited that it was rolled into this project and I did get some use on it because this was going all but neglected in my collection. So I'm excited to roll it out, but also excited that I got some good use on it. This weighed 167 grams when I rolled this in in January. It still weighed 167 grams last update, but it does weigh 165 grams today. So very exciting to see some weight change on that as well. Then we have my Tom Ford bronzer. This has also been in since the introduction and I gave myself a goal of hitting pan on this. I feel like I've been reaching for this so much and I will say, I don't know if you'll be able to tell when I insert like close-ups of this. I don't know if you'll be able to tell at all. Um, but I feel like I can see like the slightest dip forming with this. I'm very curious to see how deep this pan is. A part of me before sitting down to finish, a part of me before sitting down to film this video today was like, thinking maybe I just wanted to roll this out. I am also trying to finish up a bronzer and a different bronzer got rolled into this project last update as well. But I'm gonna stick with my original goal because I think I'll get a ton of use out of this in the summertime. It has this really beautiful, very subtle sheen to it that I think just makes this the most beautiful bronzer for the summer. It's also more of a warm toned bronzer. If I didn't say I have this in the shade two Terra, this was also a very expensive bronzer at $75 for this compact so i would love to get use out of it would love to see a pan in this before the end of the year at the bare minimum i mean i'd love to see a pan in this like at least by like mid summertime we'll see but this weighed 56 grams when i rolled this in 56 grams last update and does weigh 55 grams today so some weight change here as well i don't know if i'll notice any difference when i look at the pictures of this but still chugging along on that one then i have my persona peach gloss and i feel like i'm gonna be working on this like all year almost like it just it feels that way i'm hoping to really focus on this this summer because i feel like this is the perfect peachy summer gloss honestly like peachy spring gloss as well but the persona lip glosses are a little bit thicker and a little bit more sticky and just have really good wear time on them like it's not a bad thing but it's not a lip gloss that i need to be like constantly reapplying so when i roll this in when it was settled i estimated it was about right here this is where we were at last update and this is where we are today when this is settled this weighed 25 grams when i rolled this in 23 grams last update and it still weighs 23 grams today i did not reach for this or focus on this nearly as much in march as i did in february we'll see how it goes in april but again i do think i could get a lot of use out of this this summer my goal still is going to be to finish this off. I have such a large lip product collection. So really if lip products are being rolled into projects, my end goal should be to finish them off. But I still have over half of this left and I just feel like this is going to take me for freaking ever. But that one will stay in the project. And then I have two products left. So have I been working on seven, two, four, six? Yep, seven, <laughs> not six. All right, the next product rolled in in february and that is my jd glow single in the shade unexpected i did give myself a goal of hitting pan on this which i feel like i'm gonna regret but there is a mid-year refresh so at the end of june if i haven't hit a pan on this i will likely end up rolling this out this is a really really beautiful shade you just need the tiniest amount though to get to get it gloss like this is just like literally tapping my finger in it's such a beautiful shade it truly is like an unexpected shade and it has such a beautiful flip to it you can wear it and pair it with so many different things but it's so flashy that it's not necessarily something i'm like wearing to work or things like that although i will say i have had fun mixing this just with like i'll finish a look and then i'm like oh let me add a little bit of unexpected and see how that looks i had only reached for this two times as of like before last update i did reach for this an additional four times i thought i reached for this more but i guess i only reached for this a total of four times this past month putting me at six total uses in this project i will be curious to see i don't think there's gonna be much of a difference in the way that the pan looks this weighed five grams when i rolled this in in february it still weighs five grams today 
and this will stay in the project and we will continue to work on that. And then the final product was one that rolled in last update. It is my Nabla bronzer in the shade Ambra. I gave myself a 30 use goal on this bronzer and I actually only reached for this five total times since rolling this into this project. It weighed 52 grams when I rolled this in. It still weighs 52 grams today. As I mentioned, I have the Tom Ford bronzer that I'm trying to work on. I have a liquid bronzer that I'm working on in my partners in cream project pan. And then I'm also working on my elf bronzer in my rolling project 10 pan. So I have a lot of bronzers sort of competing heating for attention. Now I will say this is one of my favorite bronzers in my collection and I have tried to pan this. I feel like this is like the never ever 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 ending bronzer. I think I saw too much Tosh mention that she was at like 150 uses and she still has some of her bronzer left. So I am a little bit terrified as to like what finishing this bronzer up will look like but I still have 25 total uses to reach my goal on this bronzer. So this is another product that will, that will remain in this project. All right, so those are the seven products that I've been working on. As I mentioned, we will be rolling out the Glowish, uh, the Huda Glowish skin tint, as well as the Auric Glow Lust, meaning that we will be rolling in two new products. I did work on updating my spreadsheet finally. I still think there might be like a few things that are a little bit off with my spreadsheet. I did take out my mascaras from my spreadsheet just because I don't really care to pan a mascara. Um, and there might be like a few things still that like are in my spreadsheet that I don't own or have decluttered or I have finished off. Maybe there's a few things missing, but for the most part, I feel like my spreadsheet is finally up to date. So currently I have 585 products listed in my spreadsheet. That does include my eyeshadow singles, but not my palettes and not my mascaras, as I said. And we are gonna randomly generate two numbers to work on. We get number 75 and 280. So I have my spreadsheet actually pulled up on my computer. So number 75, I'm a little bit nervous. And before I look and see, my only rules are I don't want to be working on more than two of any given category at a time. So the only product that I currently am working on two of would be bronzer. So if I roll in a bronzer, we will re-roll. Number 75. <laughs> this is actually hilarious. Like, how does this happen? I don't understand. Number 75 is my Huda Glowish. How in the heck does that happen? I'm going to re-roll. I'm not going to... Oops. I'm not going to roll that back in. I don't understand out of 585 possible items that got re-rolled in. Um, and then we rolled in number 280, which 280 is Dominique Cosmetics Lazy Daisy. So a liquid lipstick. Okay. All right. We can do that. Um, let me roll in one more number and we get number 537. Number 537 is... 37. Ooh, another lip gloss, Tower 28 Cashew, which this will be actually really good. Tower 28 lip glosses, um, they're lip jellies. I actually find to be very quick for me to go through. They're super comfortable, one of my favorite formulas. And Cashew is a really beautiful, like neutral brown shade. So I feel like this will be a good opportunity for me to work my way through another lip product. So I'm gonna go grab those two products and I will be right here as I grab the two lip products. So up first, we have Dose of Colors lazy daisy which dose of colors makes one of my favorite li liquid lipstick formulas i just wanted to make sure it still smelled okay um so that is what lazy daisy looks like it's a very easy to wear kind of pinky your lips but better sort of shade this product settled is about right here and actually it looks like i've tried to pan this before i had an old marking up here but this is where it currently sits and i'm going to give myself a usage goal on this one i'm going to give myself a usage goal of 25. i was thinking 20 and then i was like no i want to challenge myself plus this is definitely getting to be a little bit older in my collection and by a little bit older i mean a lot bit older in my collection i also have another dose of colors liquid lipstick that i'm currently trying to pan and get through which i feel like i'm so close to being done with but it would be really cool if i could i don't think i'll finish this this year so i don't even want to like put that out there but <clears throat> i'm gonna give myself a 25 use goal on that i'm trying to get my tower 28 cashew to settle but i think once it settles i'll probably be like right below the o on tower and this is a really beautiful kind of warm tone. Can I get this to open? There we go. Kind of warm toned brown sort of shade. 
Again, I love the Tower 20 lip jelly formulas. You guys know I talk about them all the time. There it is swatched right there. I'm going to give myself a goal of finishing this up. Usually if I focus on these, these do go rather quickly for me. I still have tons of other Tower 28 lip jellies in my collection to get through. And this actually, first of all, I feel like this would be a good shade for this kind of time of year. But this is one of my like least favorite shades of my Tower 28 lip jellies currently still in my collection. So it'd be nice to work my way through that one. Um, so goal will be to finish that one up. But after that, that is my update for the whole collection project pan. Super exciting to have two rollouts. I'm trying to think of what could be a rollout next update. Oh, this. I need to reach for this nine times so that I can just roll this out because aside from that, I don't necessarily see myself having anything else to roll out. And I would love to have a rollout rather than just add another product to my collection. But that's going to wrap it up for today's update. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch. Don't forget to check out Ana Luisa. Again, I will have my link linked in the description box down below. So many amazing pieces to check out. If you buy anything, leave me a comment. Let me know what you decide to get. Or if you have any wish list items, would love to hear from you guys. Other than that, thank Thank you so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel as you guys always do. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.